Hello guys, my name is Manoj Sharma. Welcome to the Techno Sage. So in this video, let's talk about the data validation in Excel. So data validation is an Excel feature that you can use to define restriction on what data can or should be entered in a cell. You can configure data validation to prevent users from entering data that is not valid. Let's consider an example where you can see on the screen, we have to enter the alphabet into each cell. And the condition is that the alphabet should be from this data range. The data range is from A to F. That means you can only enter the alphabet between A to F. If the entered alphabet is other than A to F, then it should give you some warning or it should not allow you to enter the wrong data or the invalid data. Now let's suppose I'm adding A, it's fine because it's coming between A to F. Now let's suppose I have entered Z and now I can move on to the next cell and it is not giving me any warning, it is not restricting me to enter the wrong or invalid input. So this is where the data validation comes into picture. So what data validation will do? It will restrict me to enter the wrong data or will only allow me to enter data between A to F. So how to apply the data validation? Select the entire enter alphabet section and go to the data section onto the header. Once you are on the data section, there is something called data validation. Select the data validation section and the data validation screen will come up. Now under the settings, it will say allow. And it is asking me to enter the values. What type of values? I need the list. And now it is asking me to import the source. So I'll have to give the source. So the list should be that it will create a list. And since I'm selecting the list of this data, the list will be formed with values of each cell from this data sheet or from this data table. And it will create the list out of it. I'll again go to the input message and input message. I'll type enter data and the input message should be values between A to F. So this will be the input message. So whenever the user will be on to this particular cell under the enter alphabet, this message will be shown to the user where the title will say enter data and the input message will say that the value should be between A to F. Now I'll go to the alert, error alert. Error alert, there are three types of error alert. The style will say stop, warning or information. So I'll select this stop here. If the value have entered outside this particular list, outside the A to F, then the error alert will be shown to the user and user will be forced to change the value. I'll give the title as error wrong data and here error message would be please enter a to f only i'll click on to ok so now you can see i have selected the cell and it is asking me to enter data and the value should be between a to f again if i select this cell it will again give me this particular message if i select anything outside this particular table it will not show me any message. So since I have selected the data in the form of list, it will give me the option to choose the values between the range from the data table. I'll select C. It is a valid input. It will not give me any error. Now I will again type P. So since B is in within the range of this data, it's not giving me any error. Now I will type Z. If I try to move on to next cell, it will throw me an error warning. It will say error wrong data. Please enter A to F only. I can either do cancel and this data will go off or vanish or I can click on to retry and retry will ask me to change the data. And this time I have entered A and I can go through. So in this way, the data validation comes handy. Data validation is very much important when you want the user to enter the data from the selected list or from the selected range. In this way, you can restrict the user to enter the wrong or a invalid input. So this is it from the data validation side. I hope you understood this video well. Please do let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching guys.